What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another bonus episode right here on my Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. Or cheats codes, you know, advanced Pokemon and all that stuff. Uh, let's see. What do I have to say right here? Yes, this is the uh, true final episode of my Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. I've been wanting to do this for quite some time because I never really could. Got a little lazy and all that stuff. So, in this one right here, I am going to show you how do I actually get a Johto Pokemon or Johto Starter Pokemon in this game. Now, what you need to do is you actually need to complete the Hoenn Index first. If you do that, you will be able to actually capture or you will be able to actually get yourself a Johto Starter. Now, since I don't really have the time to do all that stuff, I kind of just put in the cheat for a complete Pokedex right here, as you can see. Got a complete Pokedex, yes sir. And, uh, well, we, uh, we're actually going to be going back home to actually get this starter Pokemon right here. Now, like I said, guys, you actually need to uh, complete the Ho Index. That's it. The Ho Index. So, go ahead, trade Pokemon the way you can, evolve them and all that stuff. And after you do that, you will be able to get to Little Root City or Little Root Town and go back into uh, Professor Birch's, uh, well, Professor Birch's lab. And here is the cutscene. Professor Birch is like, Oh, Draven, let's have a look at your Pokedex. Yes, there's no doubt about it. You really have completed the Hoenn Region's Pokedex. That's more than uh, just impressive. I have a gift for you. Consider it my show of appreciation for the fantastic work you've done. My gift is a rare Pokemon only found in another region. You can have any one of these po uh, three, these three Pokemon. And, well, of course, our girlfriend May is right here. She's like, Draven, after this, what are you going to do? Are you going to keep battling and sharpening your skills? Or are you going to try uh, filling your national decks? I'm staying here to help the professor. Mm -hmm. Well, I already have my sights on something. I'm just going to let you guys know in just a little bit. But right here, we are able to get ourselves a Johto Pokemon. As you probably already know, here we have Cyndaquil, the fire type Pokemon, sharp as ever. So is Cyndaquil your choice? No. Well, kind of, maybe. And then you got yourself Totodile, the water type Pokemon. You know, it's a pick a good one, so you'll take Totodile, not really. And here we have another Pokemon right here, the grass type Pokemon, Chikorita. You sure, uh, you sure you know what you're doing? So you'll take Chikorita? Not really. So, for the uh, sake of, uh, for the sake of uh, keeping it all canon, if you if you will, because I don't necessarily count uh, Pokemon Liquid Crystal as a canon kind of a game, I am going to choose my starter Pokemon from the Crystal version and Heart Gold version, and that is our good old Pokemon, Cyndaquil, right here. Yes, let's go ahead and choose this guy. Yes, sir. Okay. And, well, we already know its name. It's going to be a good name to give. Say hello to Cinder. Now, there's a good reason to why I'm saying all this right here, right now, and that is because you guys already know. Hold on just a sec. Place in and listen, Draven, you've completed the Hoenn Pokedex, but your Pokemon journey isn't over. There is no end to the road that is Pokemon. Somewhere there is a grassy patch that's waiting for you. Probably. Okay, so the reason I'm saying this right now is this. Off screen. I am planning a big, big, big thing right here. Now, this is Finish November. The reason I'm naming it Finish November is because there is a lot of games, a lot of Walker games that I have yet to complete in its full entirety because, you know, the event Pokemon are not really uh, a thing that I wanted to do. But now that I got the time, yes, I can, and here it is. We completed this. Now, one of the planned games that I'm planning on coming out with is Pokemon Coliseum. Now, off-screen, I do have a hard copy of Pokemon Emerald, and I will be uh, training up the Pokemon that I've caught throughout the uh, different versions that I've had. That means Pokemon Yellow, uh, S uh, Crystal, Emerald, uh, what was it? Uh, every other Pokemon that I've caught and named and all that stuff that can be, uh, can be found in Generation 3. With that being said, they will be included in Pokemon Coliseum as soon as I can actually play them within the game. I don't know when that will actually happen, but that will be included in Pokemon Coliseum because I got the wire, got the game system, got the uh, capture card. I'm ready to go. So, 
This is the true final episode right here of our Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. It has been a long time coming. I mean, it's been, what, two, three years since I've actually completed this game in its uh, regular in-game kind of thing. And now that we got the event Pokemon out of the way, that checks one thing for finished November right here. So, stay tuned, guys. In the next few uh, bonus episodes on every single walkthrough that, that you see right here, Black, Platinum, what else? Black, Platinum, X version. You will be seeing a completion of another event Pokemon right there. More than likely, it's going to be in the black version. So, who knows? We shall see you guys. But thank you guys again for supporting this walkthrough. I will see you guys next time.